Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning my title is called Finally They Are Coming. But before I continue, I'd like to do a short prayer with you. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, O God, yet again for this day that you have granted unto us, O God. Father, we are grateful to you, O God. We magnify you and we adore you, Father God. He who has begun a good work in us is faithful to complete it, Father God. Lord God, we are looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is sat at the right hand of the throne of God. Father, we thank you. We adore you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank you for your word, the scripture, O oh God, that you have given unto us, O oh God. Lord God, as we continue to elevate ourselves in the word of God and to know you more, Father, we know that you are with us and that you will never leave or forsake us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I pray, Father, that every soul that you have called unto you, Father, will accept you today before it's too late for them. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And I tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. As I've said this morning, my title is called finally they are coming but before i continue i'd like to read a scripture for you it's taken from matthew 28 from 19 to 20 and it follows it says go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and lo I am with you always even unto the end of the world amen hallelujah amen on the 27th of April 24 the Lord says to me that many young people are joining or will be joining the church Many will be joining the church. Many young people, says the Lord. So be open-minded and accommodating and nurture them into the things of God. When many young people join gangs and so forth, it's because they are welcomed. They are meant to feel, you know, important. They feel as though they are a part and oftentimes, you know, this is why they will join the gang because they make them feel important and they feel as though they belong. But this is, you know, the, the duty. This is a call of the church to do such. And so God is letting me know so I can let you know as you, many of you would have already known, God would have spoken to you already that many young people will be joining the church such as never been seen before. As I've always said, you know, when God is speaking to, speaking to me about something, it's nothing to be taken lightly. It's because it's something that, you know, you will be surprised by to see the amount that will receive Christ. It's something different. And so this is why I know that God wants me to share it with you, to share it from whomever who's got a church, who is pastoring a church, who is leading a church. God wants you to know that many young people will receive him and be ready, be accommodating, and nurture them into the things of God, the body of Christ. And don't allow them to go the other way into gangs, to feel apart and to feel as though they belong. For humans are always seeking and searching for something. And so I pray that it will be, you know, God that they will find while they are on this journey, seeking and looking for whatever, they know that something 
is out there that they're trying to find. And so I pray that it will be God. I pray that they will find salvation in their searching and that they will come to know the Lord and that they will be in good hands in the churches where they will nurture them and let them feel a part that they do not have to stray and wander from the things of God. Okay, these are my few words for today, but I would like to say if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I want to encourage you this morning to do so before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to you. It's not promised to any of us and you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you this morning to receive the Lord today and to turn to him before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul? There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you this morning to turn to the Lord again and to seek him today before it's too late for you. As I've said, what will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul? There are also those who are still professing the faith, but they are lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of this world and the things of God. I want to encourage you also to turn again to the Lord and to seek him in truth before it's too late for you. Remembering that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are a kingdom people. And so let us live a life that is pleasing, that is worthy and that is acceptable unto God, that his name will be glorified and that souls will be saved for the kingdom of God because of the life that we live here on this earth. Remembering also that the word of the Lord tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him that they will not perish but have everlasting life through Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord also tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life, and that eternal life is through Christ Jesus. These are my few words for today. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.